Johnson. And he'll get this one down near the 20-yard line. A good pick up there of 20 yards. And now they come up and spike it to stop the clock. stop with 18 seconds to go in the first half. The Bears on third down. They've been okay. Two for three thus far. Here it's third and two. Looking to throw again, Trubisky. And he is in. Touchdown, Chicago. Anthony Miller as the first half is winding down. And the Bears have cut it to within a score. I think everyone in the league talks about finishing, don't they? Doesn't matter whether it's a quarter, a half, a game, a series, whatever. But they're finishing the first half in fine style, putting that one in the end zone. They did, and they didn't leave much time on the clock either. Well done. So the drive there took six plays, and the end result is a Bears touchdown. now set to kick it away this will be fielded at the eight and good starting field position he'll get this one all the way up to about the 35 yard line Good starting field position for them here as they come up first and ten. On first down, Stafford here. Oh, he's got a man wide open, complete. And he is out of bounds on the other side of midfield. 17 yards on the pick up there. The drive will continue. It's a first down. Here is Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. Attempting now to break his own NFL record. This from 65 yards away. Matt Prater now. He's got the leg for this as he holds the NFL record with a 64-yarder back in 2013. Attempting now to break his own NFL record. This from 65 yards away. That's running out of steam and it won't get there. He left it just short. No good. So we have reached halftime with the visiting Lions taking the lead to the break. 
As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll begin at First Energy Stadium. It's visiting Atlanta, heading out to take on Cleveland. And it's the Falcons who are out in front in the second quarter. Mohamed Sanu, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. From there, we move to Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City to see what's going on with the Chiefs. And this one going the visitor's way as the Cardinals have the lead in that one. David Johnson, the lone touchdown there as he's cashed one in on the ground. Finally, let's get to Indianapolis. Check on the Colts at home at Lucas Oil Stadium. And they trail in that one as it's the visiting Jags who are out in front. D.D. Westbrook, two touchdown catches on the afternoon. In the game you're watching, it's Matthew Stafford who's had it working in the first half. His guys lead, though by only a field goal. Still anybody's game. As we send it back to Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. We now proceed to the start of the second half. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. So here's the Bears offense now as they get set to start this third quarter. They're down here, but very much in this game. What, what's the tonality of a coach's on, talk go, go, go. when a game is within striking distance like this at intermission? Typically, what they're doing is emphasizing the things that went well in the first half and wanting more of that. Sure, you've got to go over some of the errors and clean up some things because there's a reason you're down. But overall, I think they want to stay positive, stay up with this team. We're just starting the second half, and we've got the football. Let's go ahead and punch it in, and then we'll take it from there. See how that recipe works. Now Trubisky. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he'll be brought down right at the 30 here. That catch good for five. It's third down. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense go, 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 stayed go. in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First time they've looked his way in this game, he comes through picking up the first. Well, sometimes our pregame meetings do pay off, don't they? What do the guys in the locker room call him? Well, they said it with a chuckle. They called him old reliable. Yeah, that means he doesn't move quite as fast as he used to, but he still knows all the tricks, doesn't he? Even that little gentle push-off in order to get open, he finds a way to pick up a first down. Now Hill, and he'll lose yardage here, back at the 41. It's a loss of a yard there, and now second down. Well, Brandon, so much for halftime adjustments. They still can't get anything going on the ground. It may be time to loosen things up and start flinging it around a little bit. Hurry, hurry! Snap it at one. Now it's Trubisky. And an alley to run. It'll be a gain of six. And they're going to face a third down. The Bears on third down. They've been near perfect. Four for five to this point. This is third and four. Out of the gun. Trubisky. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And he'll take this down to the 40-yard line. Trubisky fighting the former Eagle Burton for the Chicago first. They brought in the heavy set on third down, and that usually means running play. But we have seen them throw out of that formation. And sure enough, they snuck the tight end out on that one. Wound up hitting him for a first down. On first down, Hill. 
So he got free of one tackle, but couldn't do a whole lot else. Tackle made by Ziggy Ansah. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. Again, it's Hill. And forget about finding a lane. He barely had time to look up before he was planted in the backfield. And they'll lose a yard that time, and that's going to lead to a third down. Ashawn Robinson coming out of the University of Alabama. A big, physical, intimidating force who had to learn to play with more leverage. Otherwise, he was going to get blown off the ball in the NFL. Looks like he's learning his lessons after that play. From the gun on third down, it's Trubisky. And Robinson with a big catch. And he's going to get this one down right to the edge of the red zone of the chalk of the 20. That catch puts him over 70 yards receiving now as he's got a first down. Trubisky will come up here first and 10. And he's four for four now, throwing the ball to start the drive. From the red zone now, here's Trubisky on first down. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your... Pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Stafford and the Lions now have it first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. After the interception, here's Stafford. He sets to fire deep. Well, this is taken in. It's complete. And they're going to get this one all the way out across the 45. That one goes for 36 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. Stafford on first down. Roberts with it over the middle. And taking it across midfield and just shy of the 40. It's a gain of 11 yards that time, and it produces a new set of downs. We always hear from coaches how much they like to run crossing routes because they want to hit their receivers on the go, get them the ball, and keep them moving. How about when you hit a tight end that way? Okay, the receivers are going to run past you most of the time. The tight end, they can do their damage a different way, break a few tackles and really scatter some people, can't they? So into Bear territory now. This is first and 10 at the 41. They go play action here on first down. Throwing middle, and it's complete. And brought down, but able to get it to their 30-yard line. Back-to-back 11-yard -back gains, and they've got another first down. So much goes into a successful play, doesn't it? How about that play action there? Freezing the defense just enough to bring the tight end free downfield for the completion. They'll fake the give. Now Stafford. This will be caught inside the 10. And down he goes, taking it inside the 10 to the 7. 23 yards on the play. They like going to him in the slot. He catches another one. I think this comes under the heading of, until they stop him, why not go back to it? He has something going really well. Great working relationship with the guy throwing the ball, and they keep making the connection. And he takes this Lions touchdown. 
Levine Toilolo, his first touchdown on the year. And the Lions add on to their lead. The tight end position has always been dangerous.